Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. If you hear my dog, oh, sorry about that. Anyway, we're doing a brand new show. We're doing Pretty Little Liars, The Perfectionist, and we're doing the pilot episode. So we start off, someone is playing uh, the um, orchestra version of Poker Face. And basically you have a, uh, this guy is like practicing really, really hard to the point where he's like bleeding like in his fingers and we just have very few push themselves like um like for example um we have one girl about to pass out from running too hard another girl that's stressing out over fashion stuff and clearly rips up her paper and people just training 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 and apparently someone is gone and then we cut to a remix of the intro from pretty little liars which i thought was pretty cool then we cut to where Allison is moving to Beacon um, as a faculty member. And um, basically she walks into the house and someone else is there and it's Mona. And she works for recruitments and does an algorithm and she left Paris and subtly said that her prisoners escaped. <laughs> she, said it, she said it in an elegant way. <laughs> And she wants a fresh start. And then we found out that Emily left Allison. And because of the whole trust thing, like, she just doesn't trust her. And she also wants a fresh start. And um, so they agreed to work together and try to be at least civil. And then we see that Mona is slightly off. Like, because she talks in the mirror to herself for some reason. And it turns out the lady that uh, used to uh, run um, the place offed herself and um, Allison is staying in her house. <laughs> and so we found out that she is the TA at this, um, I think, I believe it's university, yeah, at this university. And so they talk about this book and the first person she calls on is a guy named Dylan. And um, they talk about this book about like is offering someone the right thing to do under these circumstances. Then another girl, um, Eva, um, not Eva, Ava talks and uh, she's like, I want to busy starting my YouTube channel. Okay. And <clears throat> then we have someone named, it's either Chaitlin or Caitlin. I gotta check. <laughs> and Nolan um, speak up about the book as well. And Nolan's being kind of rude to Allison. So um, she called him back after class and kind of knows about her. And he drops little hints about Allison and then he just kind of leaves. And because like he says something weird. And then we cut to where Dylan is writing the papers for. A Ava, Chaitlin, and Nolan. And then we cut to where Allie talks to Mona, and uh, she didn't tell anyone about her situation. Mona didn't. And then uh, Mona thinks Nolan is dangerous because, like, by all things of like the algorithm stuff, he's supposedly dangerous. And then Allie's reading through the papers and basically caught them cheating through Dylan. And then we cut to her. Dylan kisses um, um, kisses roommate, which I think is his boyfriend, Andrew. And then Chaitlin is with someone else, some type of British guy who's like a scientist. And then we cut to a flashback where Nolan is stalking her and blackmails her with her mom cheating on some other guy. Because apparently this woman's like a senator that wants to run for president. Uh, to stay with her. So basically he's blackmailing her to stay with him. As like just for show. And then <clears throat> we cut to where Ava is working on her channel. In the present. And basically she doesn't want to be like her dad. And kisses Nolan. So that technically he's in a secret relationship because like in public it's Chaitlin and Nolan but it's really going to be Ava and Nolan. And so apparently they're at Nolan's house and um, the mom, so Nolan goes inside and his mom talks to her, him 
And Gil sent to lead football practice because he didn't want to even do it. And she kind of just got some into it. And so he leaves. And so the mom wants surveillance on her, on his son. Then we cut to where Dylan is practicing. Then Allison calls out Ava. And basically, her parents left her. Apparently, um, her dad embezzled millions of dollars from clients. And the mom's like, oh, I'm gone, bye. And then we have a flashback where, like, um, she found money. Um, first of all, she was talking to this detective. She doesn't know where they went. And then when she leaves, she sees this, um, she opens this panel with a bunch of money in there and says, I'm sorry. And then we get to back to present day where <clears throat> Ava warns Allie to let it go. And then we have Allison is at this party for a bit, I guess, the faculty people, like, kind of like an open house. And talks to Nolan's mom. And basically, she says that she reminds her of her daughter. And lets, she know, and lets her know that she's um, safe here. <laughs> and then so Allison, Allison is super observant and sees that um, everyone's taking pictures. And she sees from the back. Because um, you have Ava, Chaitlin, Dylan, and Nolan taking a picture. From the back, like, like they're all happy, but um, you can see Ava and Nolan are holding hands from the back, which Allison saw from the window upstairs. And <clears throat> so Allie talks to Chaitlin and made her flustered because like, she offers help and basically, you know, have like 24 hours to come clean about the cheating thing. Then Nolan goes off somewhere and Mona saw that. Why she was um, entertaining people, recruiting people to come through. And then Nolan calls and wants to meet someone. Then Allison talks to Dylan, again about the cheating, and I think that's who she gave the 24 hour notice to or something. Then we have a flashback where uh, Dylan kissed Nolan. Then we have the present day where, <clears throat> like I said, Allison gets in 24 hours. Then Nolan is, um, then we cut to where Nolan is cheating on Ava and she saw it and um, he broke it off. Because she was actually gearing up for like a fashion show or whatever and uh, so that was an ugly surprise. <clears throat> and then uh, Allison is researching the family and basically the girl was a lot like her. Then Nolan's at a cabin and someone followed him and we found out that the sister is actually still alive and she faked her death. Okay, and then we cut to Dylan, Ava, and Chaitlin talk about uh, how they want Nolan gone permanently and discuss the ways that that would happen. And someone over, I think someone overheard it, to be quite honest, because, first of all, the breaking of the twigs, I mean, that's a little cliche, but, you know, you know, then they see a deer, it's like, oh, it's just a deer, but I, honestly, I think someone was listening. Then Allie confronts Mona, and so Allie just vents to her. And then Nolan saw Dylan, Ava, and Chaitlin talk through the roof. And talks to, I want to say it's a guy, because it looked like a guy from the silhouette, because we don't actually see the person that did what they did. And um, he talks to someone up on the roof because that's apparently is a safe zone from the cameras. It says his sister is still alive and then um, Allison's at her house and she rips up this wallpaper because she was noticing how this wallpaper was wouldn't stay so she was ripping it up and it says and it says they're watching. Okay and then we cut to where Nolan is found permanently done on the, the fence. He's like in the fence. So like he was skewered. And like, yes, impaled on some spokes. And then um, Mona talks to herself and turns out this is like a lab of people. And the people say like, go to your happy place. So uh, I'm wondering if she's undercover. And that's basically the end of the episode. Um, I really, 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 really enjoyed this episode a lot. 
Um, I thought this was like a strong pilot and I give it a strong A. You just have a couple cliche things in there. I'm just like, okay, whatever. Uh, the, like, the whole twig thing and um, we get to see Allison be a touch aggressive with Mona, which I thought was interesting because, you know, she's trying to reform, trying to be nicer, but you still have that old Allison just kind of going like that, you know, in short little bursts. And just, I think it's interesting on how the characters are lining up and stuff because um, the way that Nolan went bye-bye is how, I want to say, I want to say it was Chaitlin's idea basically happened. And Ava was super upset when, you know, well, obviously everyone was upset, but I think Ava was most upset about, by that. So anyway, I really, really liked the episode. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of the episode. Because I'm curious to know, because it's a brand new show. Tell me your thoughts. And don't forget to subscribe. Help out the channel a lot. If you want to see do the original series, drop a comment and let me know. And I might cover that in the future far down the line because I'm so backed up right now. Anyway, uh, I'll see you on my next uh, video. Bye everybody.